let me show you how you do it. So if you come up to the top of the timeline, right click, add locator, I'm going to call this one Honda. Okay, um, that's my Honda video, you can see it. There we go, beautiful. I've got a Snoopy movie which has no audio with it. I'm going to call this one 2 and Snoopy. If you go into menu, kit, and MIDI is the third choice along. So I'm going to set this pad here, I'm going to set that to uh, channel 1. I'm going to set one note to 24, which is C, C0. And I'm going to set the next note along to 25, which is C sharp. I'm going to get my MIDI map, which is right up the top here, or Command M as well if you want to do that as a key command. So I'm going to just hit the first locator, and that's going to be 24, C0, note C0, see, told you. I'm going to hit the next one along, which will be C sharp 0. So now Honda 1 locator is uh, going to trigger there, and Honda 2 is going to trigger there. So I can flip between those as I see fit. Now. You'll need to have the timeline running for this to work. They won't start the timeline. So we can also trigger C0, the first one, just starting the timeline. And then you'll leave it running. You might also like to, to put other transport controls on there as well. I generally like to leave it really simple. Let's see this working. So here's the Honda one. And moving to the Snoopy one. There we go. Beautiful. Um, another thing to note as well is I've turned off the quantize. I just want when I hit a pad, it to instantly kind of happen. Um, so I can then flip between those videos, obviously play them out. 